touch Judy roof shingles. Chocolate! This will tell you all you need to know. So the five team was paid $20 billion, while the seven team was only paid $19 billion. How did you get your hands on that paperwork? I showed your office clerk my tits. Miss Patrick, I must say, I have a hard time feeling bad for you when you're clearly sleeping on a mattress full of cash every night. Which right is right, Your Honor? Whore! I ordered GoDaddy to pay you and the five team equal amounts going forward. And for the defendant to be in prison till I say he can go free. Fuck you, slut. 600 likes so I can get my revenge. Thank the sweet heavens, we are out of Richmond! What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Omroots, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011 DLC Career Mode. You ever visit a city that just leaves you with such a horrific taste in your mouth after you leave it? You never want to see that damn city and all its buildings again? I'm not even going to do a race recap, because we literally ran three races just to get this done, and I want to forget all three of them. Candy Cane is your points leader, Old Man Bushy. Didn't Old the he, I think Old Man Bushy won that last attempt that we made. He won that one. Juma won the second one. And was it like Steve Harvey that won the first one? So, so many different things have transgressed in the point standings the last couple of weeks. I'm just happy to be getting back to some level of normalcy. We're down to 12. We're outside the top 10 locked in spots of the chase. And on top of that, we don't even have a wild card. The 31 has a wild card and the two has a wild card because they both won races. We are how many races? We're nine races deep. We're a quarter of the way through this season. We haven't won nothing. We won a poll at Talladega's. You know how hard it is to win a pole at the Talladegs? Put your foot down on the gas pedal for like a minute, not lifting, your foot starts to cramp up. Now where's everybody else that I have to be concerned at? The 20, I don't think he's won anything, no. Ha ha, I don't know how you're making more money than me. Also, who else is, Kansas has won. Damn, she, corner of the cops at the 33rd? 40 some of those points she's got came from one single race. The other eight races have netted her about 100. And yeah, well, here's uh, here's where everybody, Gil Again, down there in dead last, one point. That's a rousing battle for dead last in points. Much to our disappointment last week when we finally were able to crack the code to find the Danica's credentials page, it did not share with us the location of the Holy Grail or the directions to the lost city of Atlantis or the answer to where Bigfoot has been hiding his fat, hairy ass for the last half a decade. Half a decade isn't that much time. Bigfoot's been around longer than half a decade. Anyway, this was a tremendous boner deflator, tremendous let down zero wins we gotta change that we gotta change that because we're not in the chase we don't have a wild card we have nothing Please. what better track than one of the toughest tracks of the schedule for this rookie danica patrick to get her first career victory darlington you need to run that wall bitch if you want to be fast around here you want to pull run the wall you want to lead laps run the wall you want to win the race you guessed it, run the wall! I believe somebody told me at some point in all the Eutechnic saga that I've never won a race at Darlington, which is actually kind of shocking to me because I consider myself to be a world-class racer. Dab on the haters. If you can win here, it proves that you are a maestro. So I want to change what has been the last however many years I've been doing this today. Let's see if we can finally check that box and take us a victory at the Lady in Black. Let's get the video start! I sat on my nuts again. Oh, let's get the video started. Let's go! What am I talking about? I'm the data guy. I don't got no nuts. Oh my God, that is a hell of a wall. There ain't much left on the right side of that car. This could be a long night. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Ooh, let's go racing today, boys. Thank you, Daryl. I, um, uh, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a little bit nervous about this race here tonight because it seems like the racing groove is pretty damn narrow, and I think there's gonna be very little room for error. But I guess we won't find out till we get into this thing. Slow it down, man, I got Jesus Christ! All, oh, all, oh, big loose. Big time slideways, but I still somehow got a run coming out of that corner. You see how thick our cars are? You see how narrow the racing groove is? I went from 26 all the way up to 12 in like a lap. Are you joking me? I'm still making up spots that I was loose as fuck coming out of that corner. Excuse me, please. And we looking at like 
Is this track a little bit, like a little bit broken? Yeah, I'm not sensing much of a challenge okay, here man. so far. The like fastest lap, I think it was like a 32-1 by Bushy. I put up a 32-5, a 31-5, over half a second faster. We'll see what the hell they can do here on this lap. Are they able to go any bit quicker? Nope, and I went faster. I am run, I am absolutely clobbering these poor bastards. You're telling me, wait a minute, I've run here before in the 2011, the game in the 2010 season, and you're telling me I wasn't able to win this damn race? Well now, <laughs> let's keep in mind that while I do have the lead, while I do seem to be way much faster than everybody else, how many times have I been screwed out of decent results already through nine races through the first quarter of this year? We've led laps. We've been up in the top five. But then I make a pit stop because I can't make it as far as everybody else does. And then I get left, and then a caution comes out, and then I'm screwed. My tires, they don't last as long. My fuel doesn't stretch as far. We're probably gonna be making pit stops. We got nine laps of fuel left. Probably gonna be making pit stops before they have to. I mean, literally the same shit happened how many times last week at Richmond? I was sitting in a dandy position. Go to make a pit stop, I get lapped, and they, they wrecked themselves coming off a of pit road. There's nothing I could do about that. It's not like I was even causing the cautions. I think that's the reason why we haven't been able to win anything yet. It's because the same stuff just keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. Oh, today they might have a hard time beating me. I'm getting faster and faster every lap that goes by. Here I was talking this riffing and rapping there at the beginning. Oh, I'm the Danica. I'm a rookie. There's no way in hell I'm gonna run well here. Oh, another fast lap. Now we're down to the 29s. Good luck. This is fucking stupid, man. I can see the tail end of the field. I started in 26, 12 laps ago. They're making pit stops already? The tail end of the field is breaking off. They broke that dick off in pit lane's ass. I mean, we're getting pretty close. The right side tires are looking pretty awful. Maybe we'll go to like lap 15. Yeah, they're... Down. What? What are you doing, corner of the cab? I'm pitting. Bitch! You drove head on. There's a wall there. You gotta be kidding me. She drove head on into a fucking wall. A race winner this year drove head on into the fucking wall. Well, that will put some people a lap down. Usually, we're in that position. So this is nice. It's a nice change of pace. Maybe we're gonna finally flip the switch and we're gonna be on the right side of history and we're no longer gonna be the losers, but we're gonna be the winners. That side of the car, look at how clean it is. I'm definitely, I mean, look at the, look at the right rear corner pit. You can see there's like a distinct dividing line down the center of my car. Right side looks like hell. Left, I would eat off of that bumper. Kind of upset, man. I had a big fatty of a lead. Now I gotta do all that shit all over again. Can they like do any better at keeping up with me? They're battling side by side for seconds, so it might be a little bit difficult at the moment. If I stuff it in the wall though, nah. Nah, if I were to stuff it in the wall, they, they maybe they could inch a little bit closer, but I think I would still hold the lead over them. I just absolutely bake them, broil them, hard boil egg them, going off down into one. I carry so much more speed than they do. This is the same exact thing as what Bristol was earlier in the year. There wasn't a single AI that could keep up with our stuff. And it wasn't until they hoodwinked me down there at the end and I lost some track position and we had a late race restart that Corn on the Cop was able to swipe it away. But maybe Corn on the Cop stuffing it in the wall like that it's like some sort of sign from above that this today, she's not gonna stand in my way and this is gonna be my race win. Faster, I, I cannot be stopped. It's been like two laps, I put up six and a half seconds. We gotta watch this. I'm up by like 8.6, 8.7 as they go off into one. And just like that, I add another full, over a second, like a second and a half to my lead after they go through one and two. Who the fuck programmed this AI? This is one of those races where you got, well, one of those episodes where you guys, you could do other like chores around the house. I'm not telling you to leave. 
because I really want you to stay and watch more advertisements. This is one of those where it's like such a cakewalk. Is anything really gonna happen? Now that I said that, some bullshit's gonna happen. 12 seconds. It was 12 seconds before they reached one. And man, it's, it's approach of 13, 13 seconds by the exit of 2 4 Like, you just wanna have this on in the background while you go and take a shit or you wipe down the countertops in your kitchen or you go and wash your car. I don't know who's washing their car right now. It's kind of fucking cold all across the country. You can listen along and I'll, I'll alert you if some wild and crazy stuff starts happening. Like if you hear me scream, let's say a code word. We need a code word. Um, pineapples. If you hear me scream pineapples, get back to your screen. I've reached the tail end of the field here, so maybe there's a possibility of pineapples coming up. Possibly, but even that, I'm so much faster than them. I should be able to just rip on by. Don't take any unnecessary risks. There's no reason to risk it. I've already got the biscuit. That was a little bit. Uh, I almost shouted pineapples right there. It was a little bit close. The side by side stuff. That could that could be somewhat of an issue. But I'm just going to take my time. How you doing, teammate? I bet you're wondering what you don't have underneath your car that I have. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. I just bully them out of the way. I bulldoze my way on in there. But I, 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 what, what the seven, what in the world was that? That was a little bit of a pineapples. Oh! Welcome to Michael Moves' mid-race report! Presented by Gas Can Water! New flavor, new addition, pineapples flavored water! Gas Can Water pineapples, it doesn't have any lead or mercury in it. Oh, we got another yellow! I wasn't even able to get into my mid- Don't even fucking tell me you did it again, lady! You did it a second time! What didn't you learn from the first run-in with that wall? Did that make you do that again? All right, folks. So we got we got some pineapples going on around here. The 13, 13 keeps driving head on in that freaking wall. I don't know what I don't know what's going on there. That's the wall. I'm pretty sure that's the wall because it's it's got some things in it. It's got some knocks in it. Seven car Robbie Robin scared the poop out of me going off down there into turn three because he tried to park it. He tried to get down to the pit road, but he wasn't able to make it. And then he just stayed out of the track and he was going really slow. One more pit stop after this, we could probably bank on a caution coming out because Corn and the Cops probably gonna drive into that wall a third time. I got beaten off of pit road or was he on i bet you he was already making his pit stop i actually lost the lead well that's that'll make things a little bit more interesting get this man's out of here he wasn't even able to give me an autograph back in 2008 anyways we got the lead back we're killing it we got the fastest lap i don't know how in the world i qualified 26 to be honest with you i clearly the fastest car around here yeah we're looking at one more pit stop i don't really see how this could possibly fall apart but We've had nine weeks of races falling apart, so I wouldn't be surprised if it were to happen again. I'm gonna try not to allow that to happen. This has been Michael Moves Mid Race Report presented by Cascade Water. Pineapples, pineapples flavor. There's no, there's nothing going on on track. I'm still out front. I'd say the reason why you should keep watching this race for the next 22 laps is that if you look at the history of my racing on my channel, there has been so many times where I felt like things were a sure fire. And then it just all fell apart. And there was like some caution that changed everything. It's all going too well at the moment. And I could see something like that. Fear in its ugly head. Imagine spending 600 bucks for a seat up in the suite here at the Darlington's just to watch the Danica mollywop the field. Like absolutely annihilate crush the competition there's no hope at all of any sort of competition going on here unless i do more of that you spent your hard-earned money you were oh damn damn i gave myself some damage i could feel it going down that back straight away it was like waggling a little bit it felt kind of weird but you spend your whole week in the salt mines mining for salt and bringing it to the surface 
so people could have salt in their salt shakers and you get paid for that. And then you spend that money on a Darlington Sweet ticket to watch the Danica win. So here's the thing, this thing handles really funky now. It's like Marky Mark and the Funky Punch. I'm going down into these corners and it just like, it waggles sometimes. The car doesn't know what direction it wants to go in. Now it's plowing. Now it's pushing really bad. And that's probably wearing out that right front tire. I swear to you, if I end up having to make a pit stop, there's no, I mean, they're starting to make their pit stop. So there could be a caution coming here shortly. But if I were to make another pit stop, there's no caution. I get lapped, then there's a caution. We might win. The car has the field, caution down. That did not just happen. That was a wall pop. That, that was a wall pop. A Eutechnics wall pop. Where is that going to put me in the lineup? It should just allow me to still be the leader, right? If that would have like taken away my lead, that's that's what that's where my mind went. In other Eutechnics games, I get the feeling that that would have put you to the back. Well, luckily it wasn't the case here. I saved poor old Corn of the Cobb's ass from another concussion. I'm just hoping that they fix my damage. They should, right? Um. Were they on pit road already? Or am I just losing time? For no reason on pit road, I got a really slow pit crew. I, I don't really understand how I fell down to fourth. Maybe because I had to fix the damage? Was that the problem? I, you know what? I don't give a shit. We've got 11 laps to make up these three spots. I came from 26 to the lead in about two laps, so this shouldn't be an issue. Unless they've suddenly made some remarkable changes. Watch it, Chamai, to these top three to make their cars super duper fast. We should be able to handle them. There are more people on pit road, by the way. What are they doing? Okay, let's go. What the fuck did you just say, you sexist bitch? I got on the brakes a bit too hard. A bit too damn hard, it carried me right up into the guy. I wonder if Corn on the Cob is one of those cars that's on pit road. I don't think they are because I... Please, please, sir, please, I do not need this at the moment. Move to the side. Old Caterpillar Eyebrows over here thinks he wants to be cute and funny and take away my first career victory. He took away my first ever autograph, didn't allow me to have it, Now he wants to take away my first win. Now, like, if I were to damage the car again the same way that I damaged it before, this could actually become a, a bit of a problem, but I don't intend to do that. We're gonna take him right here, right... I hit the brake and it didn't want to turn. I might have sent it a bit too deep. I sent it too deep and then when I finally got on the brake, it just carried me straight, carried me forward. This ain't happening. There's no freaking way you are taking this away. I I might have run up on I, I might have hit that damn wall, but I'm still out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there ain't nothing they can do about it. We're gonna drive off the same way we've been driving off. I see we got some lap traffic up the road. In five and a half laps, I doubt we're gonna run all the way up there, so we should be in the clear. I don't know, he's like, he's stalking me. He's just hanging out back there, and it's, why am I so, it's, I don't have any damage. But getting down into that corner, it does not feel uh, very comfortable. It doesn't show any damage, so I don't know if I'm making a mistake going in there too damn fast. I feel like I'm hitting the brakes the same time that I have been the entire night. Come on. I don't know, it's pushing! It's just suddenly pushing! I'm slowing down super early. That one was better. That was a lot better than the last few. But I'm pretty certain I've been able to carry more speed than that getting into that corner up to this point. I'm being super conservative. I don't want to hit the wall anymore. I don't want to try to damage my car anymore. And But he's keeping up with me! Why is that suddenly such an issue for me? He's hanging. He's there, man. He is there. And it, I don't know, am I gonna get a bump and run? Will the AI actually do that to me? Will they hit me? For some reason, hey, hey! I'm having to nurse this thing. I do not want to go into turn one side by side. I, I feel like I would wind up 
in that outside wall. They're, they got side by side. They got side by side. They're battling. And well, that's gonna allow me to cruise away. Teammates can't make up their damn mind. Oh, give me this white flag. What are you doing? Just what let me get doing? to this finish line. We have tried so hard, so damn hard, for that first win through these first nine weeks. To, to no avail. Haven't had any luck whatsoever. It's just been shit after shit, problem after problem. And now we're finally here. We did what we needed to do. We've been smooth all day. Yeah, there are some hiccups late in the going like usual. But everything finally played out in our favor. Fuck Richmond! Hell yeah, Darlington! Oh. Jeez, giving me that, that agita, that stress right there late in the going, unnecessarily. I didn't need that shit. Now I have 30 seconds to entertain the fans with my burnout. NASCAR has a very strict schedule here. I need to report to Victory Lane. It's actually kind of dumb. I, mean, I should be able to burn it down as long as I want to, wouldn't you think so? Give me them, give me them extra points. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! The Danica! Why are you on your roof? Why the fuck are you on? The roof. Jumping up and down on the roof. That's gonna leave dents. It'd be nice to be able to use this freaking car again. It just absolutely shellacked the field. Do I get to go to victory lane two now on top of wow. Again, she's on the roof. Standing up on that roof. Dents, lady, dents! It's not easy to buff those things out. She doesn't drink it alcohol. Danica's getting lit. I wouldn't be surprised before the end of the night. Lampshade on the head. It's kind of um. Was the, wait a minute, was that? R play that back. Did they get like a voice actress for the Danica to just go? <laughs> they paid someone to go for the victory lane. Oh my God, is that so stupid? Let me, oh man. <laughs> I don't even know if I really want to do one of these anymore because we've had, we got burned. I guess 11, it'd be, it'd be Hamster? What's Hamster's driver credential? This motherfucker just damn near gave me a heart attack! Denny has qualified for the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup and every year he's been racing. Well, you know what else? He's never won a chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup and every year he's been racing. I need one more for the road. Thank you. Well, let's make sure this saves before the game fucks me again. We bump up our happy asses and we got a sponsor. We, we're up to eighth. Up four positions, we got another sponsor. Sunoco, thank you, welcome to the squad. Four spots, we gotta win. We can have a wild card if we need it. Yeah, the Danica is so hype right now. Who's the points leader? Katie Kate's still the points leader. Old Man Bushy down by six, we're down by 37. So the 31 has a wild card there in 11th spot, and the two car has a wild card with their win. They bump out. Hamster, oh, Hamster, you better look out. You might miss the chase. What the hell is this? I was trying to find a picture of Court on the Cop in the wall, and I come across this. Why are all of your tactics games so bugged when it comes to the walls? Well, folks, that is another race down. On to Dover next week. We finally got our first win. First career win of the Danica race 10. Two and a half months to finally win one of the damn things. Thank the sweet Lord, baby Jesus, that has been handled. Uh, that pit road thing. Just never know what each week is going to present to you when it comes to the Eutechnic saga. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I love yo, every single last one of you. Next week is Dover. The 600 coming up after that. Can, what is it, Kansas? 2011 Kansas was after Charlotte? What? I don't remember that at all. Whatsoever. There's something about that doesn't seem right. It's you technics. Let's keep that in mind. Nothing here seems right. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!